The story of the Institute of Advanced Manufacturing Technology begins in 1947. It was then that a specialized institute of technology was established as part of the main institute of mechanics. In 1949, the Institute of Machine Tools and Cutting Tools was transferred from Warsaw to Kraków. In its initial phase, the institute was operating under rather modest conditions, drawing upon the experience of the scientific staff and making use of the premises and technical equipment of the Chair of Mechanical Technology at the AGH University of Science and Technology. In 1952, the institute obtained its own premises at Building No. 8 Obozhna Street. Eight years later, in 1960, it changed its name into the Institute of Metal Cutting. Nineteen sixty seven witnessed the first stage of expansion of the Institute. Its other premises were completed in and available from the year nineteen seventy one. On the termination of that investment, the experimental department was transferred from Vadovica to Kraków. From 1970 to 2005, close collaboration was maintained with the automotive, aviation and tooling industries, with many innovative and prestigious projects developed and completed. At the Institute, corundum elements for machines were produced, as well as specialized electrochemical machines, ceramic cutting inserts, and diamond and cubic boron nitride abrasive tools. The projects, completed and implemented during these years, include, among others, a large-size measuring machine commissioned by and set up at a foundry in Jordan, a test station for jet engine blades, and machine tools for production of automotive tire molds. Several licenses were granted for a series production of electrochemical machine tools and a license for neutralization of cutting fluids. In 2005, following a change in the scope of activities of the Institute of Metal Cutting, pursuant to regulation of the Minister of Economy and Labor, the name was changed into the Institute of Advanced Manufacturing Technology. It is a research institute specializing in metal cutting and abrasive machining technologies, as well as non-conventional and hybrid technologies. Studies and development works address issues associated with electroerosion and electrochemical technologies. Specialized equipment and facilities are developed for the needs of the above-mentioned machining techniques. The Institute carries out studies in material engineering, surface topography measurement and analysis, and also on the development of hardware and software projects to measure geometrical quantities and shapes. The research staff are also involved in works on assembling and automation of manufacturing processes and on the packaging technology of solid and liquid substances. Studies on additive manufacturing methods are performed for industrial purposes. The Institute also includes a certified laboratory for electromagnetic compatibility and noise-related tests. Tests of noise level and sound power of machines and facilities, noise emission to the environment, and acoustic holography. The Institute provides services, carries out studies, implements projects, and constructs special equipment for several hundred contractors a year both domestic and foreign. The Institute of Advanced Manufacturing Technology has a Quality Management System Certificate in Research and Development, Implementation and Innovation, Laboratory Tests, Research and Development Services, and Design Production Services, including the packaging technology of liquid and solid substances, as well as services of consulting, training, and scientific and technical information. Since 2008, a center of the National Service System and of the National Innovation Network has been affiliated with the Institute. At the Institute of Advanced Manufacturing Technology, research is carried out on production of ceramic materials intended to be used in the manufacture of machine parts and cutting tools. Over the years, a number of projects have been implemented regarding centering technology of ceramic materials, oxide, nitride, and carbide, composite materials and elements made of metal powders. Various centering techniques are used, for example, free, microwave, or spark plasma centering. The SPS technique enables an increased centering kinetics of a broad group of materials. Compared with conventional centering methods, the SPS process is carried out in lower temperature ranges and within shorter time periods. Materials, centered by this method, are characterized by fine-grained microstructure and favorable mechanical properties.
A facility for high-pressure, high-temperature sintering includes a hydraulic press with a toroidal type of the Bridgman chamber. In this apparatus, plastic deformation of a special capsule provides the isostatic state of stress. The material sintering process is carried out under very high pressure, up to 8 GPa, and in high temperatures up to 2,400 degrees Celsius, and for short periods of time, typically several dozen seconds. As a result of the simultaneous pressure and temperature effects, the sintering process is much quicker than in conventional, pressure-free methods. A short sintering process duration reduces the growth of grains, which is important in the sintering of nanomaterials. The materials, obtained by the HPHT method, are characterized by high density degree of up to approximately 99.9%, isotropy of properties and, sometimes, by totally different phase composition compared to the same material centered without pressure for different thermodynamic process conditions. The apparatus enables sintering of extra hard materials on the basis of polycrystalline diamond and polycrystalline regular boron nitrate which is in particular used for cutting tools. Moreover, it enables sintering of nanopowders, ceramic composites, and high melting point materials. It also ensures the synthesis of new materials and metastable phases which cannot be obtained by other methods. The Institute is involved in studies in reverse engineering. The methods of additive manufacturing are also developed, including the technologies of selective laser sintering and melting. The technology of selective laser sintering enables production of components for metal powders, varying in shape and internal structures, including, among others, injection molds with conformal cooling channels. In the course of this process, metal powder layers are bonded by means of laser beam. Renishaw and EOS machines used at the Institute produce components by the selective laser sintering and the selective laser melting method. With these machines, it is possible to produce prototypes as well as fully functional components of metal powders and their alloys. Components of stainless and tool steel and of aluminum and bronze alloys are made for the tooling, automotive, and plastics processing industries. Nickel-based alloys, such as Encanel 718, are used for the production of components for the aviation industry. In turn, medical demands, including implants and dentistry with dental prosthetics, are fulfilled in the production of components of titanium and cobalt-chromium alloys, respectively. The Institute carries out research related to additive manufacturing processes. This research enables the Institute to develop new technologies of manufacturing components from ceramic powders and composite materials, to optimize sintering and melting technologies for metallic powders, and to design new surface smoothing techniques of the produced components. The Institute is suitably equipped for complex preparation of samples for microstructure analysis, including the ion etching method, and of samples for tests of mechanical properties. Material microstructure analysis is performed with a scanning electron microscope. Evaluations are possible in high and reduced vacuum. Microscope accessories include a kit of spectrometers for qualitative and quantitative microanalysis of the element contents, and a system for electron backscatter diffraction analysis. An X-ray diffractometer enables qualitative and quantitative evaluations of material phase composition, also in high temperatures, and analysis of internal stresses and texture. At the Institute, studies of physical, mechanical, and performance characteristics are carried out for a wide range of materials. The studies include determination of solid body density, measurements of the longitudinal modulus of elasticity, hardness, and a resistance to cracking. Tribological tests are performed both in room and in elevated temperature for the goal to determine the friction coefficient and the specific wear rate. The Institute is equipped with state-of-the-art laboratory gear to determine the coefficient of linear expansion, the softening point, and the analysis of material sintering processes in a wide temperature range, up to 2,800 degrees Celsius. 
The Institute of Advanced Manufacturing Technology in Krakow carries out research and development works on industrial products of high processing level. The Institute's services include also the transfer of advanced technologies, products and knowledge to the industry and the areas important from the economy's perspective. The Institute runs a number of research and development projects in domestic and international programs with the effect of high number of practically implemented research results and numerous awards at domestic and foreign industrial fairs. The Institute's customers include, primarily, domestic businesses from the small and medium business sector, representing the automotive, aviation, machine tool, tooling, electronic, armaments, and power industries. There is also collaboration with manufacturers of food processing machines, medical equipment, and household appliances, where many projects from the Institute have been implemented in practical applications, especially in collaboration with research centers, technical universities, and other research institutes and units of the Polish Academy of Sciences.